Hi, I have many things on the table here. Can you tell me how many pens there are? Three, right? What is the color of this box? It's black. How many balls are there on the table? Two, right? If I pick up one of these balls and throw it, can you describe the motion of this ball? Your answer is going to be something like this. The motion of the ball is first upwards and then it comes down. You might be thinking, why am I asking such simple questions? These look simple because of our human intelligence. We are using our eyes and brain. If we want to give the same intelligence to a machine, it is called computer vision. Computer vision is the third domain of artificial intelligence and is going to be the topic of this video. As we have discussed earlier, artificial intelligence is divided into three domains. The domains are called data science, natural language processing and computer vision. We have looked at data science and natural language processing domains in the earlier videos. Here we are going to focus on computer vision. Computer vision is the field of AI that trains computers to process, analyze and make sense of visual data just like humans do. The visual data can be images or videos. Computer vision is a vast field with many different applications such as object classification, object identification, object detection, object recognition, object tracking and so on. Now these names may sound complicated to you but I'm sure you have seen some of these applications in your everyday life. Let's understand these different applications with some very interesting examples. Let's start with object classification. Here the computer can detect the category of the object such as is it a human, animal, a vehicle etc. Object classification can be used to count the number of people in a photograph or the number of cars on the road. It can be used in security cameras to detect and alert the presence of people or vehicles. Next is object identification. Here the computer can identify the object. For example, is the animal a dog or a cat? Is the fruit an apple, orange or a banana? This can be used for image search. Let's say you're looking for dog pictures in your photo album. When you type dog, it looks up all the images having a dog in it. The computer is identifying the object here. That's how the image search is working. Google image search is also using the same technology, object identification. Object detection is a computer vision technique for locating the objects in the images or videos. Here the goal is to find the exact location of the object in the image or video. You might have seen the photo apps or social media apps detecting the faces of the people in the photo, right? Object detection can be used in healthcare for analyzing scans and detecting diseases. Next let's talk about object recognition. Computer vision can be used to recognize a particular object or a human. For example, face recognition is being used to unlock your smartphone. It trains a model using the features of your face and unlocks it if there is a feature match. If you wear eyeglasses, it is smart enough to work with or without your eyeglasses. So this is what is object recognition, recognizing you. Object tracking. If I throw this ball, the computer is able to find and track the ball in the video. This is object tracking. You might have seen object tracking being used in sports like football and cricket to track the ball as it moves. Object tracking is also used in self-driving cars to detect the presence of other cars and people in the road for navigation. It is also used in military and video surveillance. As you can see, computer vision is a vast domain of artificial intelligence, having so many applications. Nowadays, augmented reality is also becoming really popular. Computer vision uses machine learning algorithms to learn patterns from image and video data. Models are trained based on the data and it can take decisions based on these models. 
I would encourage you to look for more applications of computer vision in your daily lives. I'm sure you're going to find lots of them. And remember that there are three domains of AI, data science, natural language processing, and computer vision.